Now, I have numbers here that show that having kids is more of an old people thing. Better than being a young person thing. Yeah, and it's not just Al Pacino and Robert De Niro skewing the numbers. This is actually, this is a survey from eHarmony that shows that for Gen Z and millennials, which are the people that really would be typically childbearing age at this point, people less and less are sure that they want to have children. Only 56% of Gen Z and millennials in this survey of uh, people on eHarmony are open to having kids or having additional kids, whereas 43% are undecided or they don't want kids. Well, that makes sense. I think. Yeah. Because what's that age group there? Gen uh, Z and millennials. Millennial probably goes up to actually like 45. That's at this what point. I was going to say. Yeah. It's getting up there at this point. But I mean, Gen Z, what is Gen Z? That goes up to like 25 years old, you'd say? So millennials is technically between 25 and 40. Uh huh. And I assume the Gen Z years, 18 to 25. Yeah. So people between 18 and 25, 18, 18 and 40. Yeah. So pretty much everyone. They can have kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. And uh, it's a, it's almost a, almost split down the middle of whether people definitely want more, want kids or want more kids or don't. What do you make of it? Well, this is a tough time period to be asking people. What do you mean? Because like with inflation Like and in everything, their lives or what's going no, on right like now? What's going on? People can buy, barely even buy a house, let alone yeah. have a child. Uh-huh. Sounds expensive. It does. Uh, the first yeah. thing that makes me think, sounds like a lot of money. It's, uh, where did I see this number? 28% of people say that the children would impact their independence. That's true. Which actually, that should be 100%. That's for sure. Because it will definitely, a child will definitely in- impact your independence. But I think what, they, what that means is... That might be a reason why the 28%, that's the reason why they don't want to have children is because they want to be able to keep on living their life and they don't want to have a child to be a part of their life. Travel, Mm -hmm. do whatever you want. Think about jobs. True. You're uh, what you are able to do or what you feel comfortable doing or whatever. It completely changes when you got a kid in the equation. So what are the pros of kids? I'm feeling like there's a lot of cons. (laughs) Uh Uh-huh. I'm looking for pros for children. They don't have them here in the survey. Oh, they don't have that? Yeah. Dang, eHarmony. Uh, Some dating website. They're well, ready for you to get on a date I to mean, get married, but they're not so worried about the whole kids part. The pros of children. Let's see. Let's see if we can come up with some. Teach you responsibility. That's true. Uh-huh. Keeps the family name going. Gives you something... To do? Helps you be less selfish. Yes. Yeah, that's a big one. But maybe a lot of people like being selfish, evidently. Apparently so. At yeah. Least 28% do, at least. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, it all changes. I think it's tough, too, because we're looking right. We got a 50-50 split just about. But that means odds are a lot of people that don't want kids are going to wind up with people that do want kids. And that's how it works. And who usually wins in that one? The person who does want kids. Yeah, I think more times than not, so... I don't know. It's in- it's interesting numbers to look at, though. I still think, like, by and large, times are changing. People wanting less kids. Either way, I don't want any right now. Some people, some people complain <laughs> about that, but then you think going back in time, people had, like, 18 kids. Oh, you it's definitely dwindled like, from that. Families these days, they only want four. What's yeah. wrong with them? What's wrong with these yeah. people? They can't even field a soccer field. <laughs> Wasn't that a great Riot clip? While you're here, you should watch more of our videos and subscribe so you don't miss what we do next.